how do we market for in-person local events? Well, it's actually similar to online marketing um, because, well, people who are local to you also go online all the time. They surf Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, you know, Google, other places. And they also uh, are on the newsletter lists of some of their local you know, yoga studios or organizations or companies, et cetera. So essentially, um, two quick ideas for you. One is local ads, local online ads, and two is local collaborations. So with the local online ads, let me just show you what's possible. I'm going to share my screen here. Um, so LinkedIn, for example, uh, this is LinkedIn ads. I'm just, I started an, uh, creating an ad just to show you, you know, in the audience creation section, you know, you could, I could type in San Francisco or I could type in, you know, Austin or, or, or whatever. And, um, or I could type in, give me another city, I guess, um, uh, London, right. Or Perth, um, you know, so, so it's uh, worldwide. You could do, you could do specific cities, um, and, uh, with Facebook ads, not only can you do specific cities, of course, um, you know, but you could do specific area codes in the United States. Now there might be area codes. I don't know about area codes worldwide. I only know U S area codes, but for example, <clears throat> where I live, you know, or whatever, I mean, one Oh one, one, I don't know. I don't know all the area codes, but, but, uh, oh yeah, look, Budapest, look at this, Lat Latvia area code, postal code. I mean, this is how specific. So I wanted to target people in the Latvia postal code within, um, no, that's that's actually it. So I just want to target the, the the Latvians in that particular area, you know? And um, let's see here. Uh, it, they, they used to be, actually, I'm kind of surprised. They used to be able to say within five miles or within this or within that. You could also make sure you specifically, people living in this location rather than people who were recently there. Meaning, I'm, I live in California. I was recently in Latvia. And, and Facebook tracked my location because I allowed Facebook to track my location because of whatever local events or whatever I want to check out. So I was there. Facebook knew that from my mobile phone. But people living there um, who log on to Facebook all the time or Instagram all the time from this location, I could, I could target 13,000 people of this age range. Obviously, I could change the age range. I could change people who are interested in yoga from this particular area. You know, people, you know... Um, uh, whatever. Yeah. Yoga fitness. Right. So now I'm targeting 3000, 4,000 people, yoga enthusiasts in that particular region, particular. So anyway, local ads are, you know, it's how we reach. And you could do this on Google ads, of course, as well. You could reach locally. Um, and you know, Yelp ads and other, other local ads, uh, and then local collaboration. So look at, um, you know, Google, you know, Google search uh, or Yelp search, the uh, yoga studios, the um, you know, mental health, mental, mental health centers, therapists, uh, you know, uh, any other service providers within that area and contact them and say, will you promote me just because I'm a nice person? No, you would do that. You would, you would, you would, that's a separate conversation, how you approach influ how you approach people to promote you. That's a separate conversation. I'm not prepared to talk about it right now. I have other courses and modules about that. But but essentially that's why I would just wanted to give you the sense that yeah, you 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 do and oh also meetups. Uh, meet meetup.com has lots of local meetings. And if you can become friends or uh you know graciously reach out in a savvy way to the host of those meetup groups, they might be willing to promote you, promote your upcoming event, promote your meeting, promote your um, service locally. So this is this is how I would do it when I'm what I do, you know, in-person events, to be honest, I it's my favorite thing to do ever. I mean, I, I was gonna say who doesn't, but I guess some people don't, but I if you put people in front of me in a room, that's where I shine the most. I mean, I'm that's like that's the most George Cow you can have, but I'm too lazy to do it because it's like oh, filling butts and seats virtually. It's so much. It's like you know, ten times easier than filling butts and seats locally, and so um, that's why I don't do in person events. I'm too lazy to do them, but I love doing. It. So if any of you want to get people together and have me show up, I'll 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 do it. You know, we'll split we'll split the money. But uh, but yeah, I don't want to organize it myself. 
But if you wanted to, because you you know you, you love it so much too, uh, this is how you do it: local ads, local collaborations. And the more you think about it as a long term process, rather than like, all right, I'm going to be in Latvia once in my life and ever. I'm going to create an event there. That's that's you have to do a lot of work to get enough people to show up for nobody knows you in Latvia, right? But if you're going to be in Latvia ongoingly like twice a year or, or once even once a year and you want to do, build an, a community there over time who knows you that is a much better strategy because now local ads can work continuously and like you know you can you know 20 dollar monthly latvia uh, ad you know and over time people start to know you there and every time you go oh, i'm ready to go there now you go, oh my gosh you know, see you once a year and, and whatever so uh, think of it as a more long-term, long-term uh, community building process. So hope this helps. If you have any other in-person marketing ideas that have worked for you, how do you get people, how do you get butts and seats for your local events? Comment below. Thanks.